Well, people here at The Real AI, it's time to move on to our next chapter. 15 or 16 videos based on somebody fucking with us is not what I want to be doing on YouTube. I feel like shit, the cold is kicking in. You know, it's when you got a cold, you just don't want to do shit. So, I don't want to do anything. I'm tired of this guy. But my offer still stands, Paul. You tell these people to leave me and the people who watch our videos alone, and then, and maybe then, I will pull some of these videos. Other than that, I'm done with you and the subject. If somebody claiming to be anything to do with Paul Sylvain continues to email you, I'm going to find some phone numbers. Um, someone gave me a few uh, um, emails I can use, or I mean, a few... Um, I'm just that tired. I'm out of it. Somebody gave me a few uh, email addresses I can use to complain about Mr. Sylvain and his thugs, goons, and or cyber bullies. I call them cyber terrorists, so they're committing cyberism right now. And the cyberism is not cool. But um, like I said, this is the last video. We're going to change this week. Uh, family uh, during the rainstorm. The car was swept over into a canal, and, you know, the wife lost a husband and a nine-month-year-old child. Nine-month, yeah, nine-month-year-old, I hate how they do that. A nine-month-old child. And, um, that's all the shit that was on. That was the only thing on my mind all week. And they found the child's body today near the Oakland Coliseum, you know, in a canal. And I didn't get enough time to try to tell people... You know, this is what's going on, man. People, you know, might have, might have found the baby sooner or anything could have happened if I would have been focused on something other than some sick motherfuckers' friends. Um, I apologize to the people who watch our shows. This is not the content they signed up for. Um, I am sorry. But we were been violated for a week, in a few days, whatever, we've been violated, and it's stressful. Um, now, Paul hasn't lost a day of sleep. He thinks this shit is funny. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to do anything. Um, we've done enough videos, and like I said, I'm leaving my videos where the fuck they are. I was going to be like, you know what? When all this was said and done, I was going to yank the whole... I was going to pull the whole set of fucking teeth. You know what I mean? I was going to pull all these videos out of here once this is said and done. But right now, I'm just going to give up and leave the videos there. The work speaks for itself. I love the one with the the character from V from Vendetta. You know, and he's using the voice. I told my people to be creative. I also told my people not to hide behind fake and phony ass names. And they didn't. No one spammed nobody. And we still got our point across. So, Mr. Savane, all you got to do, unless you got a production team and you got to pay for them, and you can't afford to just, you know, pay for one video to tell people to stop. Um, other than that, unless you got some big time, big money production team jumping off, I don't see any reason why you just can't hook up a web camera and tell these people to stop. So I'm going to stop bothering myself with you because you've already emailed me enough times telling me that you cannot tell the people that watch your show and watch your channel how to conduct their business. You cannot tell them, hey, you know what, you're using my name making me look bad. Don't do this. This is stupid. If you want to get fanatical about my videos, then I don't need you to be a subscriber. Unsubscribe to me, because this is not how the people of Salt, Paul, Sylvain roll. We don't roll like this. That's all you got to do. Then the shit would have went away. But instead, they email me telling me to pull the videos, and then they will quit. Paul told us to do... I'm, okay, I'm, I'm dwelling on it again. Let me get this shit over with. Paul, you're the greatest man, and you know, I wouldn't.
wouldn't be nothing on YouTube without folks like Paul Savain. Now, I gave you the bullshit promo, Paul. Tell these people to stop. You can cut that little snippet out and put it in 50 million of your fucking videos. I don't care. But, for you to be a partner, and for you to claim that you've got all this success on YouTube, and you're so esteemed with the YouTube uh, Council of Wisdom, you're the only guy in the YouTube Hall of Fame. Paul, since you're the Michael Jordan of YouTube, you got to tell the world. I'd rather you get out there and tell the world that, you know what? I ain't got nothing to do with this shit. Leave that man alone. You don't even do that. He's truly scared, but he's going to lose viewership. When a country does something messed up to another country, the world jumps to condemn the act. Some of your people claim that you set them up to this, and you won't even condemn it. Therefore, I come to one conclusion. They're telling the truth about you, Paul. And that's why you can't leave them hanging. Because if you leave them hanging, they're going to tell on you, Paul. And somebody told me to ask you this, and I'm going to ask you, flat out, Paul, are you registered, Paul? Are you registered in your area, Paul? Paul, are you registered, Paul? Because everybody wants to know if you voted. You got to be registered to vote, Paul. And if this is a democracy, and you're the undisputed leader of the channel that you represent, tell the people that voted for you. Oh, I love these pork rinds so much. I got to get them all out the bag. Don't you hate when you got that big old giant bag to go through? See, Paul, <clears throat> good. Oh, man. I shouldn't eat pork pie for breakfast. Mm. Oh, it's not feeling too good. Oh no, I just hit the stomach. <clears throat> so, family, I'm about to go to the bathroom and do a pulse of vein. So, I want you all to know we fought the good fight. You did the best we could. We pushed the limits against a very strong adversary. And at this time, I like to tell everybody out there, we kicked their ass because at least, at least he emailed me and said he couldn't stop them. At least he acknowledged that there's something wrong with the people that watch his show. Because if he is scared to stop them, then who are we to try to stop them by trying to stop him? So, let's let it go. Leave your videos where they are. The offer is still on the table. Until that man tells these people to stop, I'm going to let them fly until everybody sees them. You let everybody see your videos that you have made about this guy, and you let everybody see them. Then maybe when he does have enough guts, balls, and power on his own channel, he will tell them to stop. Until next time, we are moving to the next chapter. Paul Savane, for the final time, you've been too.